Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and we're going to finish up our jet plane. This is actually part six of uh, building a jet plane in 3ds Max. Uh, since my last version, I actually had a crash, and I had been saving, so I had to go back and do a little bit of rebuilding. So if it doesn't quite look what we were building, just a few changes here. Just remember, I actually had to go back and rebuild. So just a reminder to you, uh, 3ds Max does crash, so go ahead and save. Uh, we built our engines last time. We want to come along and... Uh, build that intake. And in the rebuild I noticed the control uh, P here as pan over. I noticed that there, there were some problems with these uh, vertexes and I moved some of them up. Let me just say uh, you're just going to be working like this uh, and tweaking uh, for several days to get this plane right on. We're just roughing it out. I'll leave that as an exercise. Let's control R around and let's build that uh, intake engine. Very easy to do. We're going to control P over so you can see that. Uh, let's Alt uh, Z to zoom in a little bit. Okay, I want you to go ahead and hit four so you can get polygon selection. You can hit four right there. I'm going to Control Shift A to do a little bit of an inset. There we go. And I'm going to Control Shift B to do a bevel. And there's my intake, and that's all there is to it. Control R to rotate around. Now what I want to do here is actually put some bombs on the end of these wings. Put some bombs on the end of these wings. Now. Normally, I just like to model those separately and stick them on, but since we're just in the spirit of box modeling, we're just going to have to model them very quickly. Control R, rotate around, and Control P. Let's get that so you can see that. I want to select that side. Uh, so we're going to hit Q, uh, 4, make sure on polygon selection, and click that. Let's arc rotate around, select the other one. Let's see if I can get it in there. I can't, so let's go to Control. Uh, P to pan out a little bit here. There we go. Okay, Q, Control, and grab that. And I'm just going to extrude that just a little bit. Control E, put a little bit of extrusion on that. Not much. Control R, make sure that extrusion was right. And Alt Z just to move back a little bit so we can see that. There you go. Yeah, that's a nice extrusion. I'm going to extrude that uh, both sides out a little bit more too as well. So that's Control R. Let's rotate around a little bit. I want to hit Q, I'm going to grab this side, and I'm going to control R, rotate back around the other way. There you go. Grab that. Q, grab. Right, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, pan over and see if I can grab the other side. There it is. A Q, and just select that, control click, and control R to arc rotate around, see if I can get the front side. Uh, almost. And control P just pan over a little bit. Just a little bit of moving around here. I'm trying to do it all at once, so there we go. And we're gonna Q and control click on that. And hopefully I got them all. Control R just a little bit move a little bit more. And now I'm gonna hit uh shift E. I'm gonna do a little extrusion here, and I'm extruding everything out. And uh that's okay, I guess. And I, I could really need to put more polygons on this and uh, a lot more work. We're not going to do that. I'm going to control click. Let's click Q. We have extruded those. Let's go ahead and uh, narrow that front end there. So control R. I want to click on that. So uh, basically Q, select, I'm in polygon mode, select, control, let's see, P to pan over to the other side. There it is. Let's go ahead and uh, Q once again, control click. And I just want to basically hit the R key and turn that into a a point. There you go, and just shrink that. So let me control uh, Alt Z's to zoom in there to show you what I'm doing. Well, that's the only thing about 3ds Max. You gotta uh, so good. I'm bringing that in. So once again, let's hit the R key to shrink that down even more. There we go into a kind of to a point. All right, I'm gonna get the backside now. Control R to rotate around. And once again, we're just box modeling. This is not perfect. That's not the idea here. It's just to show you how to do it. And you're going to come back later and do the tweaking. Let's get off of that. Let's go ahead and select that one. Let's control P. See if we can get over to the other one. Okay, move it over. And let's Alt Z a little bit so I can actually zoom back. There we go. And let's uh, Q for selection and Alt that one. And I'm just going to fan it out a little bit. Now, I'm going to do a shift first. Uh, shift E, let's bevel that out. And actually, let's do a bevel. Control Shift B, we'll do a bevel. And we'll bevel. And we'll bevel. There you go. And you know, for a bomb, that's not too bad. Uh, we're actually done with our jet plane. Uh, let's go back. Uh, 
Alt Z, let's move back a little bit. Hey, Control R. Rotate around. Uh, for the time we spent, that's not too bad. Let's uh, get out of this mode real quick and take a look and see what this looks like in our uh, materials mode. So we're going to click to get out of isolation mode and we're back in our materials mode. Let's control R and rotate around here. Okay, move around here. Let's select something so we can actually do a good job of rotation. We'll hit one to select the vertex somewhere. Cool, now we control R around there. And there's our plane and it kind of matches up. You'd have to do a lot more work than this to actually get this to the professional level, but uh, for what we're doing now is just fine. Uh, control Alt Z just to move back a little bit so you can see it. Hey, uh, for paper vision, this is going to run yeah. just fine. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to unfreeze everything, get rid of my uh, uh, reference material, and just take a look at this plane and actually nerve it a little bit, and or and also show you how to put a turbo smooth on it. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna. First save though, so file, let's save this. And uh, what we're going to do now is Q, let's go ahead and right click on the screen and unfreeze all. And I'm just going to arc rotate just a little bit. Uh, cool, and we're going to Q. Let's start getting rid of those uh, panels there. We don't need those anymore. Okay, now we can actually take a look at the plane a little bit better. And uh, let me go ahead and select that, select the plane and control R just to take a nice look at it. Hey, you know what? That looks pretty cool and that's going to look cool in uh, paper vision as well. Look at the polygon count around here, up around 200. Uh, we're okay with that. Now you can do a few things here. You could NURB it as we did last time if you shift uh, control N and that's my command for NURB. You'd have to program that in for whatever you're going to do. It doesn't look pretty cool. But I'm going to tell you something. That's not going to fly well in uh, paper vision, there's just too many uh, mathematical calculations to produce that. So I'm going to have to stay with um, the uh, the square version. And you know, once you put the texture on there, you're not going to tell a whole lot of difference in paper vision anyway. Just one more thing you can do, you can actually add a uh, modifier to this, you can actually turbo smooth as well, and then we'll actually see a true polygon count when you turbo smooth. Let's hit materials here, let's go to uh, turbo smooth, you can hit T, take you down the menu, and we're going to go all the way down to turbo smooth. Uh, you can't see it on your uh, screen, but it's down here. Turbo smooth. Let's go ahead. I'm actually going to move the screen down so you can actually see it. So go back to that modifier materials list. Hit T, get, get down to the T's. There's turbo smooth. I'm going to click that. And look at that turbo smooth. Isn't that cool? Move up here. And that's really nice looking, but look at that. 1,700 polygons. There's absolutely no way, folks, that is going to fly in, well in 3ds max but doesn't that look super cool yeah i love the way that looks hmm. maybe one day you know with flash 10 they've actually um, incorporated paper vision directly into the uh, uh, render engine and they've optimized it as well so uh, who knows maybe one day you'll be flying high polygon models like this and this really isn't a high polygon model it's actually low but let's go to the super low we're going to just control z to get out of this we're back to our square model, but you know what? We're going to be happy with this in paper vision. And that concludes this section. Next time, we're going to take a, a look at two important topics, and that's adding materials and uh, pivot points.